Uh, uh, I'm really excited about this one here, too. Because uh, this is a straight, legit yeah. a class guy here. Yes. It is. Yeah, no, we got to hang out with him out at E3. This is a class guy. Yep. Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of them come our grand opening weekend. Uh, Brian from Gamer Advantage. How's it going, Brian? Hey, thanks for having me. All right, Brian. For everybody out there who doesn't know about Gamer Advantage, give them a rundown. Ooh, man, really putting me on the spot. So I'll keep <laughs> it short. Uh, Gamer Advantage was a company that I started because I was working in the optical industry with my in laws who own an optical distribution company. And I ran across the lens that actually did something. It mm. actually worked. Mm. And I started to sleep better. And I said, well, listen, I know how to do frames. I know what frame a gamer needs. I'm a gamer. I've been a gamer my whole life, right? right. Yeah. You know the story like, got my first uh, NES one and my third birthday. I'm that guy. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, turn me up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. I got turn, you. Me, turn him up in the headphones. Turn me up. I need some volume in my headphones. There we go. Um, no, I was joking. <laughs> oh, you got it now. No, but seriously. So uh, I came across this technology and I said, like, listen, I plan on working for my family business for the rest of my life. Yeah. So how do I incorporate something that I love with eyewear? Sure. And when I found this lens, I'm like, this is it. So I went to this guy and I said, we have to do something with this. We have to bring this to the community. And they were like, we don't do gaming. Like what? We do medical treatment for post um, age related macular degeneration, glaucoma surgery, extreme light sensitivity, things like that. Yeah. So yeah. that's where we're at now. So I went to my family and said, hey, take take a leap of faith. Let's let's try this out. And awesome. we wrote. So we got involved with the charity Gamers Outreach. They're an amazing organization. And I said, let me come sponsor your event in Ypsilanti at Eastern Michigan. I'm an Eagle, graduated from Eastern 08. Oh, nice. Zach yeah, nice, graduated nice. from Eastern 08. So I knew him from a long time ago. And uh, we sponsored it at the highest level and said, screw it. Let's see what people think. And oh, the wow. response was tremendous. That's, That's awesome. Yeah, people yeah. Like so, so ditch your garbage gunners. You look like douches. And go get some Gamer <laughs> Advantage. Well, the here's the reality is that eyewear is a medical medical device, right? You yeah. think of it as First fashion. And it's a medical device. If you ask the people, you ever ask the question, would you rather be blind or deaf? Does anybody I, ever I, say I, deaf? No. I I mean, I... I oh, uh, you know. I'd rather be deaf than blind is what I, I mean. Yeah, so. I, yeah. You know that debate? That, you know that, I mean, it's a tough it, decision it, 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 to it, make, it, it, but it, it came tough. down to it. You're man. talking to a bunch of radio people yeah. about the power of sound as opposed to sight. Well, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. I think about that. <laughs> yeah, because for me, yeah, for me, I think, yeah, like if I went if I went deaf, there would be almost no way I could do my job. That's like, a good you know, point. Well, fine, then that totally ruined my entire... I... You get where I'm going. But my I, point, I guess my point but was I is that. But I follow you as one is, who wears the Yeah, vision is so important. It it's, is. A, it's a prescription from a doctor yes. for your vision. Right. Your yeah. vision yeah. helps you drive and see and That's live right. and function. Right. So I don't understand why we're cheaping out. You know, mm. like, since when is it cool to spend more on a pair of jeans than it is on your vision? That's How about more on a keyboard, right? Right. Thank you. You spend $200 on a keyboard, and then you're like, those gu those glasses, they're $40. That's too expensive. They're $100. That's too expensive. Right. It's like you want the stuff that's important on the cheap and the stuff that isn't important. You'll never be a better gamer because you bought the better keyboard. That's the reality. <laughs> Stop true. it. It's true. Stop it. But so, you won't be very good if you can't see. Yeah. Well, that's it's just, that's, yeah. In life in general just yeah. and that, good and, and if you can't see better yet if you can't sleep yeah that's what our lens are designed to, pre to prevent I, I actually, of melatonin i really wanted to ask you about this yeah you, you had mentioned that you know uh you were sleeping better as a result from using these lenses what is it about the lenses specifically that allow you to sleep better yeah so so, so there's this concept called extrapolation science and what it means is that if blue light is bla bad and i block blue light my lenses must be doing something but that's not true the only way you can prove that is with a clinical trial sure of 2,000 people that wear the lenses against the placebo and then the a university produces the results and says here's what the results are right mm. yeah so that's what we have so I can give you a lens and say this blocks blue light but wh what nanometer does it block blue light at because what we know is the 455th nanometer suppresses melatonin that's the story here so suppressed melatonin leads to the inability to reach REM sleep, yep. and the inability to reach REM sleep causes obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, depression. Don't start with me, Robbie. Don't start with me. <laughs> I was about Do to not say start all, with me. all the stuff Do not start we're with worried me. about. Well, I'm just saying, how do you sleep, man? Let's be honest. I, well. I, no, 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 no. And, and, and this is, this is um, something that I have struggled with my entire life. Since I was a baby, my parents have always said I never slept well. To this day, I struggle to sleep. I struggle to fall asleep and stay asleep. 
So, you know, like that's one of the things that I'm really curious about. You know, I, I, I am always in search of finding easier ways to fall asleep and then getting better sleep when I do fall asleep. So is this is this something that would help with that? Yeah, so you're, it's like you kind of you sleep like crap, you wake up, you supplement yeah. it all day long just to stay awake, and then yep. you try and supplement it again so you can go to bed. So let me drop some knowledge on you real quick. The modern human's been around for about 50,000 years. 50,000 B.C. is when the we were all standing here naked couldn't tell the difference between the two <laughs> That's of true. us. Yeah. Okay? That being said, it takes about a thousand years for there to be a mutation in DNA. So that means we've had for the last 20, 25 years this artificial light magnified by 10 million times than what we're used to. I mean, it hasn't even been that long since we invented electricity. So we don't have the time to be able to say right now this artificial light exposure is life damaging, but what we can tell you is that the human cannot physically adapt fast enough to the fact that it doesn't know the difference between these lights and the lights outside. So when it's time to go to bed and you're on your computer, your brain thinks it's daytime and it tries to adjust its circadian rhythm yeah. and it takes a thousand years for evolution to make a pivot to adaptation. That's how long it takes. We've been doing this for 20. I don't want to be the guy on the other side of that conversation. Mm. I don't want to be the guy 40, 50 years from now that's like, damn, I really wish I would have done that. Because you know what? That same guy was saying that about sunglasses. Yeah. The same guy was saying that about sunscreen. Remember? Mm -hmm. Could you imagine the guy who invented sunscreen came out like, rub this white lotion all over your body. <laughs> and, and it's going to protect you from, from the sun. Yes. Like, what? That's ridiculous. Right. Well, and then somebody all, was diagnosed with skin that's cancer. That's right. And the first person is going to say, that's balderdash. Yep. The sun is helpful. It can't harm your skin. Yeah, right. So I, 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 find, I, just, I find this really interesting because, and again, you know, I've tried so many other you know, uh, uh, various products to try to induce sleep. But it never occurred to me that it's just a natural part of and byproduct of modern day living that could be suppressing the melatonin. And, you know, I've even gone as far as to try to, you know, replace the melatonin, right? Like you, you take melatonin to try to inc uh, increase the sleep. Increase sleep. Yeah. Still doesn't work. It's like taking a pill, like instead of working out, I'm going to take this pill. Yeah. It's like, well, that doesn't work like yeah, that. You right. got to retrain that. Right. So you say it no differently. I don't understand why I don't feel good. I eat McDonald's five times a week. <laughs> I don't understand why I don't sleep well. I expose myself to such an insane amount of artificial light. And every year as we promote studies in the STEM programs in schools, mm -hmm. that's full-time computer usage. These kids are like, it's almost like they owe it to the kids in school to be protecting their eyes from this light, just like they owe it to the kids to wear a football and helmet. Yeah. Uh, or a helmet in football. Yeah. Yeah. We right. got you. Right, right. Yeah, 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 they, yeah, don't, yeah. They, don't, they don't fix dyslexia, that's for sure. <laughs> I can't make any claims no, but to I, that. I, and one thing that, I, that I, I am also very curious about is, you know, you, you tell the story about, you know, being involved in the industry, you know, making frames and understanding what goes on with frames, because that's my big issue, right? Because when I get glasses like, you know, I, I have these too big for my dang on face. I like the way they look, but they're constantly, and they fall off, yeah. and it's a bad day and I'm you know and I feel like Vilma okay <laughs> I feel like Vilma Jinkies. you know so my main thing is is with these glasses can I also get style which we all know is I mean yeah that's if you well if according you, to you if you can't look good it's not worth doing <laughs> um but can I still get style while at the same time getting the amazing function out of the frame? You know, it's so funny. Think about this. It's the only medical device that's looped in with the fashion industry. It's true. It's true. Right. I've never, yeah, I've never you know? crazy. Like, can we get a Fendi back brace or I something? I was just saying that. I was just having Yo, that conversation. I'm <laughs> that Fendi has not made a back brace. But do you remember, too, when we were out at PAX East, and, you know, they, they have all these, all types of stuff you can buy, right? And Nora specifically said, you know, when they get, like, frames out here for something for me to get, you know, that, that, then I'll look into it. And granted, there was. We actually did see one. I don't know, remember who they were. But they were ugly. But yeah, they were. They weren't the. <laughs> yeah, weren't, so here's the thing. Great. Not only do we, we understand the basics of eyewear, yeah. so we know what shapes fit and look good and sell. Dig but it. then we have the ability to customize anything you want. And I have like a real special treat for one of you three people sitting here at this Ooh. table uh -oh. when I come in and do one of the days for your grand opening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And oh. uh, we have the ability to make this super custom, but not at the sacrifice of the lens itself. That's the story. So we're, we've had a lot of conversations with a lot of teams and we've said, listen, we can totally make this all about you. And we're cool with that. Sure. But the lens is the lens. Yeah. And that doesn't change. Awesome. So if you want to wear a big bulky plastic frame under your headset, mm -hmm. 
that's your prerogative. That's your choice. <laughs> but you don't get to change the lens. Uh, or else then I'm a fake, right? Yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. So I actually let's talk about the frames here for just a second because construction of the frame is, is something that's real important to me. I've had multiple different types of glasses in my life. These types of frames are the ones that, to me, hold up the best because if I'm falling asleep in them, there's a good chance that I'm that they're not going to be broken snap, in the morning, yeah. right? Like I had I had a, one of the worst pair of glasses I ever had. It was it had a similar top to it, but then the bottoms were held in by a wire. Oh, yeah. I it's hated a half those frame. as a kid. Yes. I had the half frames for a and, while. And I hated I, it, those. I, you know, you would bump the corner of it, and the 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 lens would go flying across the room. That was the most frustrating pair of glasses I ever I but ever owned. And you do half frame. Yeah. We can do it. Listen, oh, we, can wow. do it, we can do anything we want. No kidding. We can make any. Listen, you can go find the most expensive Prada frame, Gucci frame, uh, whatever frame you want to go find. Bring it to me, and I can go have it duplicated in six weeks. That's okay? awesome. Okay, so the brand sells everything in eyewear. That, and then the brand, the company who owns the brand owns the insurance company. So this gets really super simple for eye care doctors. You come in, you have this insurance. They sell you this frame, this lens. They get the best deal. You get the best deal. Everybody leaves. So what you're wearing is an asset acetate frame. Hand polished acetate is a very high quality material. That's sure. a good thing. Injected plastic will break if you roll over on it. Those right. are really cheap frames. That's yeah. your a uh, lot of your online optical yeah, retailers, yeah, without yeah. calling them out, that's what they're using. Sure. Same thing with the lens, using a plastic lens, which is polycarbonate. What we use is a material called Altum. Altum is an amorphous material. It, all, it basically means that when you mold it to its shape, it'll keep its shape forever. Sounds like something you'd make Captain America shield out of. Yeah, so it is, right? Like, so, wow. So a, Look at so that. A, lens, a, a wow. bullet bounces into it, hits it, and it just goes back right to where it was. And then you can Look go both that. directions. Wow. So there's always going to be a point of breakage on a frame. Right, yeah. To some degree, sure. there's a metal hinge, whatever. Sure. But that's the concept is that I'm putting my headset on these, and no matter how it fits on your face, your face, your face, my face, it fits. And wow. so that's what we we, we know this because we know eyewear. Yeah. I know that an acetate frame is the most expensive, most beautiful frame there is. It doesn't work for this application. Right. It's heavy. When you sweat, it slides down your nose. Yes. When the arms bend out, over time, they get so bent that it doesn't fit anymore. Yes. You can't, they have to take it in and heat it up in a little machine and bend the plastic. <laughs> like, you know, that's how it works. I know yeah. that's how it yeah. works. Yeah. Our frame has to be able to fit as many people as it possibly can without having to go into a doctor's office and have it fit. Well, and, we, we, we got it. We got a guy in our chat, Echo Revelation, who's saying, "Listen, as a glasses wear, I'm in." <laughs> it's, it, it's all, and we—that's what I'm saying—is we know eyewear. That's yeah. what we know. We and I, we teamed up with the best lens company in the world. They've been doing this for a long time. I'm going to say something I don't normally say in public. Okay, hold on. That's... This lens has been used on the prescription side of eyewear for quite some time to treat some of these things I've told you about. Okay. The value of this lens with a single vision, which is the type of prescription you have, no progressive bifocal. Sure. The value of this lens, single vision, polycarbonate, front and backside AR coating, which is what you're getting with our lens, is about five to seven hundred dollars billed to the insurance company. Wow. Okay, wow. so you're getting our frame plus the lens plus the polarized clip, all of that under 150 bucks. It's so hard to take something that's supplemented by insurance and transfer it to direct to consumer. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're seeing all the things on TV about like Viagra and yes. and uh, you know the um, what's the what's the big one for cholesterol or whatever I forget. Um, the, yeah, uh, you should know this. Begins with an L. Yeah, uh, Lipitor. Lipitor. That's Lipitor. It. Lipitor. They're coming out and they're like, well, wait a minute, one Lipitor pill is fifty. Five dollars or five hundred dollars or whatever the hell it is, and we looked at the cost of manufacturing, and this pill costs five cents. Yeah. Why does it cost fifty dollars? Right. Well, insurance said they'd pay us fifty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's so subsidized that's cool, by the right? Insurance. Like yeah. insurance said we'll give you fifty, and we said okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of my opinion on that part of the industry. So we're awesome. trying to debunk that as we're trying in a very tactful way. Awesome, awesome. Well, we appreciate you taking your time and to you come guys, by, and, and you, we we will see you again very soon. Back. And, yeah. and you guys just had a uh, a product launch, right? Yep. And and so if somebody wanted to go and uh, and check out the the glasses for themselves and possibly pick up a, a, a pair, where would they go? So here's what you do: you go to gameradvantage.com, and because we feel like they're going to sell out and they're on the way to doing that, you throw five bucks.
walks down, you reserve your spot in line. We don't charge you anything until the product actually arrives. The day we can ship it to you is the day we charge your card. We don't want you to pay for something that's not going to come out for another three weeks. So that's our that's our story right now. That's but fantastic. after that, they'll be available. Appreciate the hell out of you guys. This is really cool. I appreciate well, you having me up really here. Well, and I'm really looking forward to having you in the studio as well. So you, we can talk, obviously, that's... more about Gamer Advantage, more about uh, uh, your history, too, which is a little bit in radio as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, There's, we're gonna, I might have done this once we're, or twice before. We're, we're going to get in. We're going to get into it. It'll yeah, get that's, that's it'll sure. deeper and deeper yeah, yeah, yeah. and deeper yeah. and deeper. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, you know, me and Norris hung out with you out at E3. <laughs> we obviously didn't talk about any of this. We're really, really fun, by the way. One of our favorite people out there. Let's talk about that okay, stuff, we'll tease Robbie. It. It's called a tease, right? Hey, what, yeah. are, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> I know. We've already talked about it many times. <laughs> I we, did talk to Nate first, though. Mm -hmm. He's the one who... He's the reason he, br I'm here he right brokered. Now. He brought the, us. That's yeah, right. That's he right. He brought, he brought us, us all together. together. But I, I mean, look. Even he, though he's the curmudgeon, that's what I, I know. I was right? gonna say. Well, you obviously know Nate, so you understand why he wasn't out at E3 right. doing the social <laughs> life. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. I no, hate you guys. <laughs> I, I, I I love you dearly, but I hate you at the same that's time. That's okay, buddy. All right. But thank <laughs> Brian, you so much. Thank Brian, you so much for hanging out with us. Gameradvantage.com. Make sure you check it out. Five bucks gets your spot saved in line. Go pre-order today. Uh, I, I think that this is going to this is going to be revolutionary. It's going to change change the game of the uh, gamer glasses wear. Man, 